What is up, Aquamigos? Good morning. Is it still the morning? 11.24. It is still the morning for a little over half an hour. But anyways, guys, Aquamigos is our little fish community here on YouTube. If you want to become an Aquamigo, all you have to do is go down and hit that subscribe button and possibly even hit that bell notifications button so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And today, I have another pool pond video for you guys. And if you guys have seen my last couple of pool pond videos, you guys would have seen that my pool pond is in desperate need of some maintenance. So I just wanna go up there and clean it out a little. I wanna do a couple things. I'll take you guys through that with me. And check it out, guys. I just cleaned the tanks yesterday, or I didn't clean them. I did like um, water changes and cleaned some of the algae off the tanks. They're looking pretty good. Check it out. My guppy fry are, you know, growing up quick, guys. Look how many guppies there are in this tank. It's getting to the point where I might have to, you know, think about getting another tank for these guys. Or I was actually thinking about maybe putting some in the pool pond or the mini pond. I don't really know yet. But the other really weird thing is, guys, um, a lot of my original male guppies that I started out with, um, I just can't find them. Like, they've just disappeared from the tank. What I... I think what happened, I have a theory guys, I have a really weird theory, but I think what happened is they might have just somehow died and I'm not sure how. I feel like a couple of them may have just died off as the time went on and I just didn't notice. And um, I think the other guppies might have ate their uh, carcasses because I've looked everywhere through the tank. I've done several water changes since I've started noticing this and I've tried searching for you know dead guppies in this tank and i just cannot find them like they're just not in there so the only other explanation i could come up with is that maybe they were eaten by the the dead bodies were eaten by the uh other guppies i don't know guys is that something that guppies do i really don't know and of course we got my fantail goldfish right here looking sharp looking good and we got rico over here hey rico soaking up the rays and let's just do a little terrarium update guys if you guys saw the video where i set up this terrarium right here this is my most recent terrarium build and check out the plants guys like just like i said the plants are growing so quickly check that out They've really grown in a lot. And, you know, we got the other terrariums right here. I am getting some dead leaves on here, so I'm going to have to try to get those out. Um, but yeah, these ones are looking good over here. This one is just crazy. It's like, pfft, so many. The plants are just so, like, growing so wildly in there. It's crazy. And one more thing, guys. I'm sorry to keep you guys waiting, but I just remembered this. And I have not done this in a while, but I think it's time to take care of some orders of business all right guys so for today's first and only order of business i've decided that i want to start doing shout outs again i've gotten a couple requests from people to start doing shout outs again so i think i'm going to start doing it again guys so if you guys would like me to shout you out in my next fish video all you have to do is go down into the comments below and comment i am an aquamigo and i will shout you out in my next fish video and for today's video, I do have one shout out. That is for Charlie Patton. He has a YouTube channel. He also has pet fish. So go ahead and check that out. And that just about takes care of our orders of business for today. All right, guys, so I'm out here at the pool pond right now and check this out. We have another beautiful water lily flower blooming right now. And if you look next to it, there's another bud for a flower right there. Awesome. All the fish are coming out. They see me. They're ready to chow down. I better give them some food, actually. One second, fish. Just wait one second. So, guys, there's a couple things I want to do to the pool pond today. So, check this out. As you can see, guys, the water level's a bit low. I'll show you guys how I add water to the pool pond. Um, I usually like to have it a little bit above, like the water level, a little bit above that plug right there. Um, as you can see, my waterfall filter is trickling that needs to be cleaned out um, the pump needs to be unclogged um, there's like some decaying water lilies that I need to get rid of because you don't want decaying plant matter like in your pond and also it'll help the water lilies grow like healthier it'll 
stimulate the plant to grow like new healthy uh, lily pads which will be awesome and it'll probably also help with growing new flowers because with like plants in general when the plant isn't giving energy anymore it's like the already dead or decaying leaves or whatever then it has more energy to put into the living thriving ones and it has more energy to produce more new like lily pads or whatever and aside from those few things, um, yeah, I just need to fish some pine needles out, stuff like that, guys. Nothing too serious, but stuff that needs to be done. So let's go ahead and get to it. But first, guys, let's give these guys some food really quick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start fishing out some leaves and pine needles from the pond. Now to take care of these water lilies. Alright guys, so I think I got everything. Check that out. A little blue dragonfly right there. <laughs> and yeah, these are all the dead water lily pads that I pulled out. Um, the closer down you can get on the stems, the better. Um, but I had a pretty hard time reaching. So like some of them I wasn't able to get, a lot of them I wasn't able to get all the way down. But I, for the most part I got them all. Definitely looks a lot better. Whoa, that was a huge dragonfly. A big gray one. Whoa, that thing is quick. As you can see, I have angered the bees and they are just swarming. So I'm gonna take a step back before, oh, I forgot one, I forgot a water lily pad. Let me get that one. And right now what I'm going to do is unclog that pond pump. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna leave the pump in this bin right here and I'm gonna go ahead and clean out the filter. Now when cleaning out the filter, I'm not going to use the hose like I just did with the pump. I'm going to get a bucket of water out from the pond and I'm gonna clean the inside of the filter which is a bag of lava rocks and a, um, and a pad, a filter pad. And I'm gonna clean them inside the bucket of pond water so that I don't kill the beneficial bacteria that has grown on the lava rocks and on the pond filter. Thank you. 
I'm gonna need a bigger bucket. I think that did the trick guys. Check out that water, yikes. What a transformation guys, like night and day. Now I'm just gonna try to clean some of the sludge out of there and put this thing back together. All right guys, now it's put back together and I don't think I've ever shown this, but this is kind of like my system for putting new water into the pond because I can't put it straight from the hose because the hose has like chlorine in it and all sorts of stuff. So what I do is I fill this thing up. This bin right here, I've measured it before. It's 15 gallons. So what I do is I fill it all the way up. I add the dechlorinator. Um, I wait like maybe five minutes or so. Then I plug, because the pump's in there right now, then I plug the pump in and then the new water goes in through the filter. And that's how I add new water. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And I'm gonna try to get the water right above that plug over there. Now we just repeat this process until the water level gets to where I want it. All right guys, check it out. After doing that, I don't know, maybe five or six times, we got the water level to reach above that little plug thing, which I think is an adequate water level. And right now we're gonna go ahead and put this pump back in here and we will be done. All right guys, we are all done. All right guys, so that's just about it for this video. That was some pool pond maintenance that I did today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I actually have to go to work in a little bit, so make sure that you go down there and like this video and subscribe to my channel so that I don't have to work a regular job anymore and I can just dedicate all my time to making YouTube videos. All right guys, I will talk to you later. Peace.